Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, and Chiron. This is Aquarius Queen here to do your November 2021 reading. This reading may resonate at a different time if you're watching this after November. And I hope that you are having an amazing day. I want you to remember to check out my Facebook page for more tarot messages. All right, let's see what we have here. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Now, let's see, Libra. What energy will you be focusing on this month? What energy will you be focusing on this month? My Libra, Sun, Moon, and Chiron. What energy will you be focusing on this month? All right, Libra. Okay, very interesting because you got the same card as Aquarius. So there may be an Aquarius around you. But then again, this is all about you focusing on children, whether they're yours or stepchildren, nieces or nephews, younger members of your family, the influence you may have on them. For those of you who are parents, you could um, have to have some communication with your child's school at this time. Um, I just keep seeing a child in the principal office. Somebody kid might be acting up this month. And I'm also seeing the thief card at the bottom of the deck here. So some of you could have a child that is stealing or taking something from you or they're misbehaving in a way that you need to pay close attention to. All right. So Libra, if you got kids, pay attention. If you don't have kids, make sure you be careful. This is Scorpio season and today is actually a new moon. In Scorpio, so you want to be aware of how you're using your sexual energy. Don't misuse it because if you misuse it and abuse it, it can create something that you don't want to take care of. Okay, let's go. What messages do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Chiron at this time? What do they need to be aware of? What do they need to know? So, Libra, you have the Three of Swords. Wheel of Fortune, which is very interesting because y'all know my sugar daddy is Jupiter. Jupiter is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let's go ahead and say our Jupiter mantra. Om Grim Gram Grum Saha Kurave Namaha. Some of y'all need to be working with that Jupiter energy so you can bring forth expansion and abundance into your life. Although I, I just have this feeling that there's something that's being taken from your life because we have this three of swords, um, which signifies that there's some type of heartbreak, deception, betrayal and grief here. Sorrow, you know, so apologies is what I'm hearing. So you can find out if someone did something to betray your trust or something happened that you were unaware of. And this can cause you to feel heartbroken or sad. However, whatever this rejection is, was your protection. Whatever is being removed from your life was for your benefit, was for you to grow because it was stopping you from growing. Because Jupiter been over here trying to tell you like, hey, what's up? You always talk about you want that growth and expansion in your life, but you're not ready to surrender what it is that needs to be uh, let go of so that you can receive this. You got to make room for new things, whether it's a house, a place that you're living, a place you're working or a person. You have to be ready to surrender something. What does Libra need to surrender at this time? What does Libra need to surrender? You got the King of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. So Libra, you already know what you need to surrender because you've been getting intuitive messages with, excuse my phone, you've been getting intuitive messages with this High Priestess energy here. You already knew from the get-go, the universe has already showed you, hey, in order for this balance to be created with the Six of Pentacles, in order for your financial situation to improve, in order for you to receive the rewards that you've been reaping, the, the time energy that you've spent into putting into things so that you can get the reward back, if you want that, you're going to have to set those boundaries. You're going to have to turn into this king of swords and take your feelings and emotions out of this situation. Therefore, you can see clearly and not be impacted by your emotions because your emotions is what kept you in that certain situation and circumstance. So now that it's time for you to go, this is going to allow you to balance your own energy, your own auric field. So you can really start bringing in that Jupiterian energy and manifesting what it is that you truly desire, right? Scorpio energy 
energy. It's all about the desires. And they're really telling you to utilize your masculine energy. So this means you need to take action. You already have the King of Swords and that's your energy. Swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You have the Emperor here, which is Aries energy. Take control. Take your power back by separating yourself from what no longer serves your highest gate at this time. There are things you need to let go of so you can continue along your path. What other messages do we have for Libra? I'm going to say Scorpio. What messages do we have for Libra? Let me get one more message, please. And thank you for my Libra, Sun, Moon, and Chiron. What do they need to know? It's a lot of cards here, but I'm going to take them all because they flipped over. So, And you got Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys could be dealing with another air sign or you could be dealing with someone who's very stubborn or doesn't want to change. Because they got this devil energy. They're addicted to being in these certain situations of circumstance that keep them stuck. They're in this negative pattern of behavior in which has always been exuded. It's like I just see you guys repeating something with a particular person, with a particular career, and which is now becoming part of a toxic cycle. So you have to pull yourself out to enjoy something new that's kind of trying to come towards you. With the full card, some of y'all just going to have to leave. I just see like some of you, if I don't care, some of y'all might have to even go to a shelter or go live at somebody else's house. It's time for you to go because if you continue to be around this devilish energy, you're going to start exuding devilish ways too. Okay? You have the King of Pentacles here. So this tells us that your financial uh, situation is going to improve. But I also feel like some of you guys need to be aware of overworking because you have this Ten of Swords here. Pay attention to the lower body, your legs, your ankles, your calves at this time because I just feel like the way someone could be walking is very uncomfortable. Maybe some of you guys uh, need to look into getting some pediatric care or some foot soles. Um, something about your comfortability is being highlighted with that and here go the emperor again we just seen the emperor at the bottom of this deck i told you it's time for you to take power and control because if you don't the path that you are headed on is not going to be the path in which you receive whatever jupiter is trying to give you for more insight on how you can tap into your jupiter energy go take a look at your natal chart or check out my patreon i hope you all have an amazing day and don't forget to like share and subscribe comment down below where scorpio is in your chart Bye-bye.